Hello everyone and welcome to this City College of New York website tour. First of all, welcome to the City College of New York. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is just type ccny.cuny.edu and you get the website. So this is the welcome page. This is what it looks like. So it has a welcome to the City College of New York introduction. So it just tells you a little bit about CCNY. Um, here we have prospective students, browsing majors, alumni, and giving, financial aid, admissions, and faculty and staff. Down here we have schools and divisions. So if you already have a major declared, then you should um, already know which school you belong to. You can also go in the schools and find out what other majors that they're offering or what majors fall under their school. Um, for example, if you're a psychology major, sociology major, you fall under Colin Powell School for Civic and Global Leadership. So you can always contact the departments. If you are undecided and you don't know what you want to do yet, you can always browse and look into it and find out what you really like. Here we have some CCNY fact, fast facts. Um, it tells you the total student scholarship stipends and fellowship awarded, which is over $5 million. Um, we have over 115 number of undergraduate majors and master programs. We have 95.6% full-time faculty members who hold terminal degrees in their fields and also the total number of countries that CCNY represent is over 150 countries. Here we have just like an easy way to guide um, the calendars and what's coming up and just so you can be um, on top of what's going on in school. So here are all the events, here's where you will see it, um, the latest news and CCNY on the news. Here in Spotlight, so you just see a lot of important things that are going on right now with um, specific um, staff or people. Um, this is a CCNY physicist who um, developed a mobile app which is detecting the virus. And just other important spotlights. And here is the CCNY social media information, inspiration, and community. So they have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. The Looking Forward Strategic Plan 2019 is just a little bit put together just so um, you're on top of, you know, looking forward and just having a more strategic plan. And on the bottom of the page is students, um, faculty and staff, resources and accessibility. So here you would see email, calen academic calendar, which you can see what's happening throughout the semester, um, courses, the CCNY Bulletin and CCNY and CUNY list um, to apply, the Benny's Campus Store. So here you will find like a lot of school hoodies, um, the registrar and also student employment, again, for the social media, which is listed down here. Here are other resources. For example, if you need to contact a specific department, this is the place to go. Since we got a little overview of the whole um, welcome page, now let's go on prospective students. So here we will see um, prospective student and current students. So here we'll let you know a little bit about student life. Student life at CCNY allows you to remain active in campus activities and it includes study activities and supporting services. So this is the contact information for student life. If you wanna be a part of something, um, so their email is studentlife at ccny.cuny.edu. They also have Instagram, which is CCNY Student Life. And they also have a chat on their app, which you can find here. So for the Apple store, if you have an iPhone device, an Apple device, um, you can definitely go on this link. And if you have an Android device and Google Play Store, then this is a link for you. Here's just a little overview again of what they do. Um, they provide 
support that you need to maintain a physical and mental well-being in campus. Sometimes classes can get overwhelming and having other activities outside of the classroom is always important. It keeps you engaged and motivated. Here's a little bit about financial aid if you don't know already. So financial aid um, is now um, meeting with people virtually because because of social distancing, um, they are no longer allowed to um, come in. So everything is being done from home. So this is the link when you go on the website, this is the link that you will have to click if you have um, a phone or computer or tablet and you need to already have um, Zoom downloaded on your device. So this is the link if you have any questions about any documents that you have submitted and um, if there are any errors in your FAFSA or TAP, the financial aid um, office is who you need to contact. If you don't want to click the link and you already have the phone on your device and um, this is their meeting ID for Zoom. Any documents that you need to upload, now they have the secure portal which you can upload your document is super fast even when school is in session and the financial aid is office is open then you can always use the secure portal because it's way faster you don't have to wait online sometimes it get a little overwhelming when you're at campus and you're in the financial aid office and it's a little packed always remember that you need to reapply for fafsa every year for the academic year and um I'm pretty sure that you have already applied for FAFSA, so um, just know, just keep in mind that you need to reapply every year. Now, in the Office of Financial Aid, you can um, inquire about scholarships, grants, loans, and work studies opportunities that the school provides. If you want to learn more about the grant scholarships and loan programs, then you can definitely just click this link and it would guide you to whatever you're looking for. So here are some things that you need to already be doing for your college career, especially if you want financial aid, is already submit your FAFSA, your TAP, and always follow up, which you should receive within, I believe, like five days. Um, it's just a follow-up to see if there are any errors and you can correct them and you can go on CUNY first and look at the to-do list and see if you are missing anything and if there's anything that you need to do. So the secure portal, like I was mentioning earlier, is way faster. It's super secure to um, way to submit your required documents for financial aid. Um, you don't need to be in campus, like I mentioned, or wait in line at the financial aid office, which again can be super overwhelming sometimes, especially if you have a class and you don't have enough time. This is super convenient. The documents are auto dated stamped upon submission. These are just a quick announcement, which um, this is what was mentioned a little bit earlier, which was the Zoom meeting and they are now meeting from Monday through Thursday, 10 to 4. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. via Zoom. So here you have the link and also you have the meeting ID. If you want to just put that, that's totally fine. Here they tell you about some deadlines, the secure portal effective, just important announcements that if you're looking for something important and you're looking for the you know, submission date, especially when it comes to financial aid, this is your place to find it. Here's just, you know, again, reminding to complete the FAFSA and um, just so you can be secure for financial aid. And again, work study, work study is um, just, they have the placements and it's for new and transfer students as well. So the people who you need to contact for federal work study is FAFSA, those are your go-to. Here are just some quick links to help you out with either completing your FAFSA, um, knowing about loans, any questions that you have, these are the links that if they fit your question, those are your go-to links. And down here is just the location when you go to school. Um, this is the location where it is at. So basically 
It's in the William Administration Building, room 104. Um, here we have the phone number, the fax, and the email for the financial aid office. And whenever you're applying to FAFSA or the TAP, they have the school code already there for you. Here again, it's just reminding that due to the coronavirus, the office is practicing social distancing and they are working remotely. So there's no in-person service and these are the hours that they are providing. Again, it's through Zoom or you can give them a call. Now for the registrar office, like the financial aid office, the registrar office is also practicing social distancing and is not working um, at the school. They are working through Zoom during the same time as the financial aid office, which is 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Thursdays as well. They um, have the Zoom link clicking here. Again, you can go on any device, computer, tablet, or your iPhone or Android phone. Here's just a little reminder that due to um, COVID, the classes you could have used, no credit and credit. But this is only for the spring. We don't know yet if it's happening for the fall. Here's just telling you about um, if you have any questions about courses or classes or your status, the registrar office has the answers for you. Um, they are responsible for all student records. So if you have any questions about any courses or classes, they are your go-to. Here it just tells you like a little calendar basically from fall 2020. They already have the registration information up. They have the class schedule up and they also um, will have the final exam schedule coming soon, but they don't have it yet. These are, these are tools that will help you throughout um, basically your entire college career. So before you could have declared a major um, in campus, like you needed to go to the office, needed to wait online, but now they have iDeclare, which is way faster and, and they have the link already on the register page. So basically um, you can declare a major or a minor through iDeclare, which is more convenient and way faster. Another tool is DegreeWorks, which um, you should be getting familiar with. It only works again on Firefox and it's an online advisement tools. So there you can see like if you're planning um, to take a major, you can see the plan, you can see the general pathways, you can see the courses, the education courses that you need to take. Um, and then we have Schedule Builder, which is a new tool and it is a class scheduling tool to help you plan and register for courses. Um, this you will see again on your CUNY first. Here we also have graduation planning, um, which you can, whenever it comes to that point, you can sign up for graduation through CUNY first. To request your transcripts, they also um, answer those questions if you have any concerns. And you can also um, get your transcripts from CUNY first, but if you have any further questions, register to go, your go-to. Um, you can request your transcripts if you are transferring or if you are graduating and you need it for a job or um, a grad school. And they also have the link to the academic calendar, um, upcoming calendars. So basically what's gonna happen throughout the semester that you're currently taking. So any days off, any um, special dates, final dates sometimes are in the academic calendar. Um, any just special information for the um, academic semester, um, academic term, it is going to be on that calendar. So you're gonna hear a lot about gen ed requirements. So general education is just um, the courses that you need to take. So for example, for Bachelor of Arts, everyone has the same requirements um, that you need to take. For Bachelor of Fine Arts or even on um, Bachelor of Science students, you can use this. So to um, your general, gen, your gen ed curriculum, they will also be on CUNY first, depending on your major, your, um, if you're undeclared BA, you will already have a predetermined basically um, general education curricular requirements.
Here are other useful resources, such as advising, CUNY portal, Blackboard e-learning, CUNY first. These are just some links that will take you to that, um, student request forms and verification. And again, here we have contact information. Um, so this is when school is in session. This is the building where the registrar office is located. It is the same building as um, the financial aid office as well. Here's their phone number and their email if you need to contact them. And here's the virtual front desk um, and their hours. You just have to click the link. Here you can look at some courses, degrees, and programs if you're just curious and you want a more in-depth city college um, kind of feel for their um, programs and courses. This is student housing. So if you are dorming or you're staying in campus and this is the link you will go to. And these are some offices and services. So here we have um, just basically admissions office, advising, our anthropology, our education. These are just the offices that you will go to. It has all of their information, their room, their email, their phone number, and their fax. Now to browse majors. So areas of studies here, you will not only see the majors that we offer, but you will also see some programs. So here you can get in contact with any department, gather more information if the major is calling your attention and you really want to know about more, you want to know more, you can email them, they can provide you more information, and you can also put the major on um, degree works and see what requirements you can, you, you're going to need. Again, you can also find some programs in here. Like for example, SEEK is not a major, it is a program. So here you will find all of that. You will find any programs, the School of Education, um, and majors such as physics, philosophy, psychology. Here we have alumni, um, again, financial aid. We went over this already. They are working remotely. And here's where you will find faculty. And um, sometimes you can find their off. If you have a specific professor and you don't have their office hours or their office time, you can always contact them through there. Find their email. They will provide that in the syllabus. So. So now let's go on the top bar. So here we have um, the about section about the college. So we have overview, mission and vision and history, giving offices and services, administration, the city college and CUNY policies and directory. So in the overview, it just tells you a little bit about the college itself. Um, just a little background and you know what we have to offer mission and vision it's just you know again letting you know about what it is that we at city college you know aspire to do the vision and learning a little bit more about history we have offices and services which we already touched based on um this is another place where you can find it administration cuny policies and city college and the directory and for the campus um, you know, we have a shuttle bus service. Um, I'm not sure how that, that's going to be working when we resume in person. Um, we have the media kit, scheduling, um, tour for college, for the campus, and so on. Then we have academics. Um, the first row is the schools and divisions that we have. Um, again, we already touched base on this. This is another place where you can find it and find more about the school itself. So, we have the architecture school, school of medicine, um, school of civic and global leadership, school of education, school of engineering, human humanities and art, and so on. Here we have as well more information on international studies or if you want to study abroad, 
um, this is where you will find that information in academics, then in the middle section, lifetime and experiential learning. And then academic planning, again, we have the registrar, areas of studies, general education curriculum, the academic calendar, library, which um, we have already touched base on. Admissions, which is just, I mean, you're already in school, so this is just for freshman students. Um, admissions overview, um, if you're returning to college, but this is where you will find all of that information. For example, financial aid, tuitions and fees, campus housings for international students, as well as honor programs. You will find that here. For student affairs, you will see student life, which we went over, and athletics. So our mascot is the beaver. And this just tells you like a little bit about um, the sports. Then here we have activities that you can do in campus. Again, this is the um, the student life and leadership development. This is the office where you can find them again when school is in session. And again, here's some more information where you can find them. Here it tells you about fraternity sororities, um, student clubs, student government. Um, for undergraduate as well, um, student media, student programs, the National Society of Leadership and Success, um, laws and policies, and a little bit about them as well. Here we have um, student housing. These are the towers. So if you're looking into dorming, this is um, where you would go to. And then here are other student services that we offer as well. Here, search bar. So for example, if you're looking for anything specific, then you will click here. Let's see, um, let's say scholarships. Here are just some links that will take you a little bit more about like specifically for City College. Um, and it will be an automatic Google search, but specifically for City. So for login, um, here we have um, the where you can log in. So you would have um, two different email links. So basically, one is for is the one that CUNY provides, which is the one of your first name followed by a period, then your last name, and the last two numbers of your ample ID. That one is for CUNY related um, purposes, such as CUNY First, Blackboard, Degree Works, CUNY Portal, Fax, and so on. The second email, which is provided to you by the college, so is the one of the first letter of your first name, the first, I believe, four or six letters of your last name, and um, a, followed by a number. That one is provided to you by the school. It's going to be at citymail.cuny.edu. So that one is provided to you by the school and is um, for your Outlook or any Microsoft purposes. Um, that is the one that you will use and you will receive all of your information in. If you want to um, activate or find your student email, that will be the link that you will press, student email. If you want to reset your password, that's the link that you would refer to, so student password reset. Um, we have my city here. Um, we have degree works and facts, um, e-permits, um, City Central and Blackboard. So here are also some links where you can be directed to. Now let's go back to academics really quick. In academic planning, you will see general education curriculum. Let me just explain this a little bit more. So education curriculum is just 
courses that you would take, um, basically, mostly all students would take the same courses, depending if you're a BA, BS, or a BFA. So this regards your major, and um, it's just introductory coursework um, to give you basically fundamental skills. Um, these are like such as writing, research, critical thinking, and quantitative reasoning. Here are um, basically, if you're entering fall 2013, which is already 2020, so this is the link you will click. And this just tells you a little bit more about the requirements and you can just basically read all of this and just keep yourself informed of the pathways that you are gonna need to take. So the City College of New York um, does research. Um, here are some information. If you are interested in research, um, these are all the resources that you can check out just so you can be more informed and also area like you will see areas of expertise um the overview basically tells you about ethics centers and institutes grants that are given to people who are conducting research um basically when it's reopening and these this is just like a perfect resource of like guiding you through where um whatever you want to do and if research is one of those things you can definitely find that right here Now, I hope this little overview of the City College of New York website was helpful and you can take all of these resources and use them and they can be helpful throughout your entire college career. Um, good luck, everyone.